To follow Jesus Christ means to live a life of uncertainty. And most people do not trust Jesus enough to let go of everything and follow Him. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. Christians say they believe in Jesus for salvation. But that is where their faith stops. If we are not willing to follow Jesus into the unknown, into the uncertain future, then we cannot be His disciples. Jesus does not just require of us that we believe in Him, but that we put our faith into action. If we truly believe Him, we will in the first place obey His words, repent of sin, repent of our own ideas, our own ambitions, our own plans. We will give it up for Jesus and commit to follow and obey Him. We will obey Him and be baptized in water. And then, He promised His Holy Spirit to come and dwell in us, to guide us and to teach us. Jesus said, The one who loves me is the one who obeys my commands. We have to prove our love for Jesus by in the first place obeying His commands. Repent and be baptized. Most believers never do that. They just believe in what they do not know. They believe in Jesus for salvation. They want security. They want a guarantee of salvation. And they get that guarantee from some Bible verses. But they have never followed Jesus. They do not really believe. They have not heard His voice. And therefore they cannot follow Him. If we are serious about following Jesus, we will obey His commands, repent and be baptized, and seek His guidance. We will go after Him, because that is what Jesus said. He said, follow me. How many believers are following Jesus? Very few. And yet, they believe they have salvation. They believe that they will enter the kingdom of heaven. But they are deceived because they never followed Jesus. They never got to know Him. And He will say to them, Go away. I never knew you. You workers of wickedness. He will say, You never followed me. You never heard my voice. You never sought to hear from me. You were not interested in my kingdom. Why do you want to come in here now? Most believers are not interested in Jesus or in the kingdom of God. They just don't want to go to hell. And therefore they will do the minimum that they believe is required to have salvation. But they will be disappointed eternally when they find out that their faith cannot save them because their faith never went into action. They never trusted Jesus. They were never serious about following Him. That is the tragedy of most believers. They do not know Jesus. They do not have faith. And they will never follow Jesus Christ. We have to follow Him wherever He guides us. But first, we have to sacrifice ourselves, our own desires, our own plans, our own ambitions. And we have to commit to follow Jesus. But most believers will say to you, how will, how will I live? What will I eat? How will I dress myself? What car will I drive? Will I have a wife? Will I have children? Jesus calls us to follow Him into the unknown, into the uncertain. But at the end, He promises us a certain salvation, 
Most believers trust more in themselves, in their own plans, their own ability, their own opinion, their own interpretation of the Bible. They trust in other people. They trust in the church, the pastor, the economy, the government, the doctor. But they don't trust in Jesus. They just trust in Him for some salvation that they do not really know how it works. But it sounds good the way that it is presented to them by the lying preachers who themselves do not know Jesus, neither do they follow Him. We have to be willing to deny ourselves every day, to deny your own thoughts, your own ambitions, your own desires, your own fears, and your own insecurities, and pick up our cross. Go after Jesus. Trust Him. If we cannot trust Him, we cannot follow Him. If we are not serious about following Him, then you will not take us seriously. Most believers will say to you that they ask Jesus to speak to them, but He never speaks to them. They never hear His voice. It is because they are not serious. They are worried about themselves. They are not concerned about Jesus or about His kingdom or about being part of His kingdom. Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and then all the other things will be added unto you. But very few trust Jesus enough to follow Him. Not even preachers trust Jesus. Most of them are hirelings. They sell their services to their church, or they start their own church. That is their means of income. They trust in themselves. They trust in other people. How can they guide you to Jesus? How can they make disciples of Jesus if they themselves are not disciples? If they themselves do not know Him nor follow Him? They do not know His voice. Maybe they know a few Bible verses and they deceive the people as they themselves are deceived. But they are not following Jesus Christ. If you follow Jesus, then every day is uncertain. Your trust is in Jesus, not in your social security or your job or all your own securities that you've accumulated for yourself, your banking account, all your crutches that you have accumulated, the things that you trust in, your securities. If you follow Jesus, you let go of all of those. You abandon everything and you thrust yourself onto Jesus. You follow Him every day. Jesus said we should not worry about tomorrow, only about today. And that is how you follow Jesus, one day at a time. It is an adventure. It is a total uncertainty. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. If you are serious with Jesus, then He will reveal Himself to you. But we have to demonstrate through our obedience to Him that we are serious, that we truly want to follow Him, and that we are really interested in the Kingdom of Heaven. Not many people will enter heaven. Many believe they are saved, but very few know Jesus Christ. Do you know Jesus Christ? Are you serious about following Him? Do you hear His voice? Do you follow Him every day? Or are you also deceived? Do you also believe in some salvation that will never materialize? Get serious with Jesus, and He will reveal Himself to you. There is only one way to have eternal life, and that is to follow and obey Jesus, to go after Him every day, 
into the unknown, into that which is uncertain. And the only way that you can do that is by totally trusting in Jesus Christ. That is faith that can save you. Do you have that faith? Are you walking in that faith? Following the Master every day. May Jesus bless you. Jesus Christ is alive and hell is real. I am here to introduce you to Jesus Christ so that you can know Him and follow Him and have eternal life. Subscribe to my channel to learn more about Jesus. May Jesus bless you.